Carter Reiners, listen to this. The Charleston County Board of Voter Registration and Elections has partnered up with the bus service for this voting season to offer transportation to your voting location. During the early voting period, there will be two routes that will take you to the polls between 830 in the morning and 6 in the evening. Here's Caroline Spikes with more. Many people throughout the Low Country use Carta each year, whether you're getting groceries, seeing family, or maybe even now you're off to the polls. There's always a way for you to get to where you need to be. Betty Robinson says she's been using public transit for years and loves the convenience of it. However, she did say she can see how the lack of accessible transportation may be discouraging to potential voters, but it shouldn't stop them from voting. I think it would impact it a lot. It's just that the early voting when you have to send it in, it's a hassle because there's so much things to do, so much things to add. Robinson voted through her senior communities program and encourages others to make an effort to vote. Carta will have two routes in the early voting period, Route 210, which stops at the main library in downtown Charleston, and Route 103, which will be extended to include a stop at the Board of Elections and Voter Registration Headquarters over in North Charleston. Yeah. Accessibility is a huge concern for ours, not only to make sure polling places are accessible, uh, but also make sure that our voters don't have a barrier to cast their ballot. When Election Day comes on November 5th, there will be free rides offered, whereas during the early voting weeks, the ride fare remains the same for both routes. Another rider, Austin Buckles, said this partnership will be great for the public transit users. I think it makes it, uh, it gives them the opportunity to make it more possible. Perhaps some are discouraged by the very uh, inability to get there. Um, so, yeah. Both Buckles and Robinson said voting is a chance for people to use their voice. If you are interested in checking out the routes and bus schedules, you can head over to our web story for more information. Reporting in Charleston, Caroline Spikes, Live 5 News.